There's a need for a course like this one here at Kiel um, because the skills that you learn in the lab can be applied directly to the jobs that you can get after here. I think forensic science is a really good applied science, so a lot of our students come from a variety of backgrounds. They enjoy science, they enjoy chemistry, biology, physics and maybe maths. Forensic science at Kiel has a particular focus on the analytical investigation of physical evidence, that's items found at crime scenes. Uh, and uh, the techniques that are used to investigate such evidence are also techniques that are used in other industries and businesses to examine other materials, such as pharmaceuticals, such as environmental monitoring, things like that. The support staff in the school are always really helpful. There's both the people in the office and the people such as the demonstrators in labs, which are postgraduate students. It's nice because you can relate to them really easily because they've often already done the course. So they get to know a staff of first name terms, so they know who to approach if they've got issues or problems. Um, and we also op operate a system of uh, year tutors. So the year tutor is a specific point of contact for students in a particular year of the course. Um, the academic staff come from a range of backgrounds. So we have uh, people with a chemistry background, biology background. We also have um, experts from the field of forensic science. They're very friendly and because you meet them in, uh, as well as in lectures, in problem classes and tutorials, you get lots of one-to-one. Uh, -one. I think when most people think about forensic science, they tend to go straight for the CSI, crime side of things. But although there will always be a degree of crime, it's also applicable to many other things like wildlife forensics or for more domestic aspects such as paternity testing. There's a very close connection in forensic science between the lectures and the practical work. Uh, for example, if we're studying uh, blood spatter uh, evidence, the students will learn about the theory of that in the lectures, they'll learn about how the droplets form, how the droplets impact on surfaces and how that affects the shape and size of the stains. And then they will actually carry out experiments in the, in the uh, practical work, in the laboratory, to verify these theories. One of the best memories I have of Kiel was the opportunity to study abroad at the University of Windsor in Canada. This allowed me to make so many new friends and immerse myself in a completely different culture and I'll be ever grateful for that. Um, there's a range of facilities we offer. Um, the laboratory themselves are very large and spacious and uh, we use those for multi-uses, so it might be for problem classes as well as laboratories. We also have a very large uh, analytical facility and this involves a range of equipment that you would use in the analysis of forensic evidence. On our course there's such a variety of topics that no day is ever dull. On one day they might be looking at blood, at blood stain formation, on another day they might be looking at DNA, they could be looking there, uh, following that perhaps at looking at glass or, or, or looking at the chemical parts of a single fibre. So there's a wide variety of topics and this, our course appeals to students who like that variety. I don't think there is such thing as a typical forensic science student. We accept students from a range of backgrounds, be this A-levels or from a course such as a BTEC or an access to higher education. That means we have students that are more mature students and with a range of scientific backgrounds. There's a lot of diversity um, in the students, so people come from a lot of different countries and different parts of the country within England as well. Uh, and everyone's always really friendly and keen to socialise with each other. Kiel has a really nice feel about it. It's a very close community and a lovely campus. I feel that as uh, teaching, I've come from other universities and I feel that students really bond well together and this helps with their academic as well as their social experience of Kiel. You have a really great community surrounding you and we call it the Kiel Bubble because we're on top of the hill and it means that the feeling is very friendly and supportive. After my degree at Kiel, I'm hoping to apply for a Master's in Forensic Science, hopefully specialising in Forensic Genetics. I feel like I've had a really good grounding here for that, both in Biology and Forensic Science. Well, like many science graduates, our graduates can go on to a higher degree, for example, an MSc in a specialist area of Forensic Science or a PhD, or study for a PGCE to become a science teacher. So that, those are quite common paths. If they enter uh, the job market directly, they can work for one of the forensic science providers in the UK, one of the private companies who service, provide forensic services for, for the police force, um, or other security type based companies. They can also enter a range of analytical science functions, so technical staff of various scientists of various kinds, across the environmental monitoring, pharmaceuticals, chemical industry, the food industry, uh, and those sorts of things. I think at Kiel we offer a really friendly experience for the students with a range of analytical techniques 
and a really good overview of what forensic science is and the skills you're actually going to require to be a forensic scientist. But I think the main thing is their overall Keele experience and they feel as a Keele graduate they're someone special and they've benefited from the range of experiences that we have offered them at Keele. My favourite memory of Keele is it was a really hot summer's day. We all went down to Keele Hall and had a picnic by the lake and it was just perfect. <laughs>